Hello and welcome to Rags, guys. So uh, in today's session, we just uh, see um, how to uh, switch scenes uh, using uh, Unity uh, button, UI button. So in order to uh, do that, we need to have a couple of scenes at least. So let me go ahead and first uh, create the simple scene. So in order to do that, just create a simple UI and a panel, of course. And let me go to the game mode. And uh, let me just change this one to full white. Okay, so let me just name this as, let's just simply name this as scene one. Scene one. So let me align it to the center and increase the font size here. Okay, so and I'll just uh, change it to 1080. Yeah, that looks better. Now this is going to be my scene one and here we need a button in order to switch to scene, uh, the next scene, which is our scene two. So select the canvas and inside the canvas, I'm gonna create a button here. So which is going to be my UI and button. So select the button and uh, this is going to be, I'm gonna name this as uh, load next scene. Right. And uh, before uh, doing any of this, uh, let me select the canvas and I'm gonna select this uh, canvas scaler and uh, change this UI scale mode to screen, scale with screen size. So that's gonna make it a bit, uh, you know, because uh, that's gonna help you in um, adjusting your uh, screen layout, however you move your uh, uh, size of the screen. And uh, yeah, I think that's fine. And I'm gonna select the scene button and increase the size to let's say 300 by 100. Yep, that looks better. And I'm gonna snap this to the right bottom corner here. I'm not gonna cover up all these uh, basic things about uh, creating buttons and all these things and all. I'm just gonna move on with that. So because this is mainly focused on um, uh, s switching scenes uh, using a button. So I'm just gonna name this, uh, select this load next scene and just uh, select the text and rename this as, uh, what, do we, what do we do, what do we do? Uh, next scene maybe, yeah, that looks better. So just increase the font size slightly. Yeah, either you can just have this or I'll just have a simple double arrow. Anything is fine. I think this should do, sorry. Yeah, this should do. So now uh, we have this basic setup here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the scene. So file, uh, save scenes. And then we need another scene here. So I'm just gonna save the same as, uh, save scene as. So we have two scenes here, scene one and scene two. So let me, let's just tidy up things here. So just uh, right click, create a new folder and call this scenes and just select these two and just move them inside. Yeah. So we have nice and clean uh, project here. So now currently we are in scene two so just in order to differentiate this, I'm just gonna select this canvas and uh, panel and just make this a bit darker, somewhat like this. And I'm gonna select the text and change the text color to somewhat whiter. Yeah, so this is going to be my scene two. Right, now we don't have uh, more than two scenes here. Maybe I'll do one more thing here. Let's uh, try switching so let me just save this one here and I'm gonna go again and save scene as and uh, under scenes, I'm gonna save this as scene three. Right, so let me just uh, change the color a little bit, somewhat like this, okay. I know it's a bit contrasty, but still it's fine. Scene three and uh, in this case, I, I want this particular thing to go to the previous uh, previous scene or probably to my first scene, first scene, right? So um, I would prefer going to my uh, first scene. So I'll just change this as home. So which is going to be my um, first scene one. So we're gonna switch from scene one to scene two and then from scene two to scene three and then we're gonna switch back from scene three to the home screen, which is my scene one. Great, so we have three different scenes here. Let's get on with the script now. Uh, okay, go to assets and right click and create a new folder and I'm going to call this as scripts, right? 
and under scripts I'm gonna create a new C sharp script C sharp and I'm gonna name this uh, name this as load scene right okay let me open up in Visual Studio so we got the new uh, C sharp script here for loading the scene so first um, we need to okay I'm just gonna get rid of these things here and I'm gonna get rid of we don't want the start function and update function we're gonna create a separate function here so I'm gonna mention public void and we can just name the function as uh, scene loader and uh, yeah and the function is created now so right now we want to load the scene in the parameters I'm gonna give uh, an integer parameter and I'm gonna mention it as scene index right now so we have the basic function ready so now we have to tell the function what to do so here we have to call the scene management function uh, scene management class so in order to use the scene management class in unity we need to call the namespace using unity engine dot scene management without that we won't be able to use a scene management function so sorry again scene management class yeah so scene manager dot load scene and I'm gonna mention it as scene index and semicolon so this is the basic function here so let me just minimize it for now and let me go to my scenes come on okay and scene one and here let me select my load next scene and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this add component and look for event trigger there is one other way to do this that is you can just simply go ahead and um, use this on click event function but the reason why I'm uh, using event trigger is you can use event trigger uh, even in your mobile games so if you in case you're using event trigger it helps you in uh, working out both with your Android iOS and whatever you call it so all these things so an event trigger is created here and select add new event type and I would prefer using pointer up so select pointer up and I'm gonna create a new uh, event new list here so click on the plus icon here and you can see that the new event is uh, created here so but here we haven't um, got any script loaded to the scene yet we have created the script here but we haven't added it to the scene so I'm gonna create an empty object here and I'm just gonna name this as scene manager load scene script to scene manager right now get back to my load scene which is my button here load scene button and I'm going to drag and drop the scene manager here and under no function I'm going to select this load scene and I'm looking for scene loader okay so now when I click on scene loader you can see that it's asking for a number to be mentioned here the reason we why we're getting a number here is because we have added a integer parameter here and one other important thing which I forgot to mention here is the access modifier public is very important in this case because let me just show you what happens if you don't have access modifier I'm just removing the public and let me go back here and if you go to load scene you could notice that our load scene function is not available now because by default if you don't mention the access modifier in any function in unity by default it, it's being taken as private so we need to mention this as public so that it can be accessed outside the script as well so now if we go and select the scene and go to no function load scene you can see the scene loader is again back now so select it and here it's mentioned as zero by default uh, in um, C sharp the number starts from zero we'll be addressing the first scene as zero and the second scene as one and the third scene as two and so on so here the um, we want to when we press this button we want um, the second scene which is scene two to be loaded which is going to be one of index one and uh, let me do the same thing here let me go back to my scene two and select the load next scene 
and same thing event trigger and a new event type point up and new list and again uh, we don't have this um, you can see that we used our um, scene manager empty object in our previous scene if we want we can use the same uh, object here as well so let me just save it here and get back to my scene one and you can see this is a scene manager I'm going to create a simple new folder here and I'm going to name this as prefabs and inside prefabs I'm going to just drag and drop this inside so now we've got a prefab here so you can just um, use the same prefab uh, in how many number of uh, scenes you want so let me go back to my scene 2 save it for now and uh, go to prefabs and drag and drop the scene manager here so yeah we can, we've got the scene manager here and go to the canvas load scene and I'm going to drag and drop this one here and no function load scene and scene loader and now we want to load the next scene which is scene 3 which is of index 2 as I said the first scene will be 0 second scene will be 1 and third scene will be 2 so right now we want we are in the second scene and we want to load the third, third scene so we're using the index 2 here right great so uh, save it and let's just move on to scene 3 here and uh, again I'm going to the prefab drag and drop the prefab here scene manager and load next scene which is my home which is going to be my first scene so just drag okay so we just need to create event trigger add new event type point drop list and scene manager drag and drop no function load scene and scene loader and yeah it's going to be zero so that's it so now let's just save all these things and let me go back to my first scene and let's just play and let's see if it works okay I keep pressing next and it doesn't work for me okay the reason being we haven't added the scenes to the build settings here so you can see we are getting an uh, error message here go to the console and you can see uh, scene with build index 1 1 could not be loaded because it's not there uh, the reason being it's not there in the build settings so go to file build settings and here in build settings you can see there are no scenes available so select all the three scenes whichever you want to load and just add it there and make sure that you add it in the right order because you can you can notice here that scene 1 is of index 0 and scene 2 is of index 1 and scene 3 is of index 2 if you change the order the scenes are also going to change so add these things and just close it and now go ahead and play it right and then I click next right scene 2 next scene 3 and home scene 1 great it works fine so that's it for this session guys so uh, we just saw how to uh, switch scenes between um, you know different scenes uh, in Unity 5 uh, using buttons. So I'll just catch you guys with another interesting tutorial. And until then, uh, bye for now. Uh, if you like the video, just uh, don't forget to like it. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe for the channel. And if in case you find it useful, don't forget to share it with your friends. So that's it for now. And see you guys then. Bye-bye.